Alright, starting step dad here. I will be making a short video. I won't be reviewing the uh, little cards with the survival stuff in it. This video, that'll be the next video. Um, I will, however, be d reviewing the through the W tactical torch. And I will actually compare it with some of the uh, flashlights I have acquired since I've picked up flashlights. Um, it is Friday before 4th of July, so it's not going to be a extravagant video because there's a lot of things that are going to be going I got to do later on today. Um, and let's get to the review. Um, I actually bought a mic, so that's going to be some. I'm going to make it a little darker and compare the flashlight to uh, those other ones. I'm not going to blind anyone or even blind myself. Just got to. Make it dark in here. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna start with the OD Green military style flashlight. Um, the one that the military usually is, used to issue. I mean, brightness wise, this is about as bright as, this is as bright as it gets. And next will be a mini mag light, which, and see, it's just this, like, is this the light? Just this big. And I have a special button on it that changes the brightness, but this is as bright as it gets. And as it goes, it's got a couple different settings. Last dimmer and blanks. Next is the one I got with the uh, my tactical well my uh, survival kit just to, just smallly me to be one. And once I get the light, once I turn the light back on, I'll go through them. But this is a bright. This is nice. Cat and I knocked it over. And it doesn't get any. It does have settings as well. Now it's time for. This one, the one new one. This is as bright as it is. As you can see, it's twice as bright, and it's got its own settings. I'm gonna turn the light on and show you go through them each individually. All right, now I got the. And so you can see, this is the one the military old elbow elbow flashlight of the military. It's got this switch here. It turns it on, and then you push it down. Go you know, halfway, it turns it into when you can blink. It's got a clip, so you can like hang it on the vest. It also comes with different color lenses, a couple different ones. You got your multi refractor lens, you got white, blue, and red. They're used, they've got specific uses for the lenses. Um, use them for reading maps and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, it's trying to walk up to. And then we got, uh, oh, actually, and yeah, it's bulky and it uses D batteries. But it also comes with a spare bulb in here. And it's just, and it's, they're all, all these are actually waterproof. I mean, this one is pretty sturdy. I've hidden it a few times. And we go with the mini mag light. Yeah, it's waterproof. I mean, these are just, they're just not as bright as they used to be as compared to anything. But if you're needing a dim light to see what you're doing at night, just to make sure no one's, like, Donaldson's going to come and find you, if you, one of these would be beneficial. Kind of like 
the military when they're trying to do, use low light when doing some training so the enemy can't see them. Now it's usually a good thing, thing for the red lens as well, but as a target, I, I think as you get further and further away, it gets dimmer and dimmer, but closer and closer, it gets brighter. This actually, this mag, my mag light is a little different than what you stand normally by. It's, as you see, it's got this clip to hang, like a pen, and then this, bu this button down here is not standard on them. This actual button was an aftermarket to add that click to it. Mostly they would be just twist and the light would come on. And both of these are LCD. As you want to call them, they actually got bulbs instead of what the new stuff has. Now, this one, this little compact that, that came with a survival kit, is waterproof is an LED and fairly bright. I actually have two of these, but I've used one a lot for training and stuff while training. Um, I actually can't found an, an issue with it after so long being used. Um, the battery actually does not, it, the hole for the battery is really big and you can see it. I use this, this. Uh, here's a dimmer light so you can see it but if you look in there you can see that the battery the battery's got some wiggle to it you can move it up and down and all that it doesn't sit in there properly but it's, it's advertised as a for the double A so I mean that's why they're I actually took the other, my other one and put duct tape around it, and it holds the. I put something in there to hold that battery in place, but there was came an issue when it came to the button on it. It started having issues. For causing it. Now, this actually came in a two pack. See, we two for I guess it sixteen like six around sixteen bucks for two of them, and they are for, as you can as I showed you they're fairly bright. They've got that switch. You get you get to zoom in on them like the other one. Nice thick battery compartment. Well, back plate, and it's not a spring. It's got a spring inside there. Triple A, but you can. There is a spe special bat battery that's also good. They put, bro, gave you a sleeve with to hold them in. But I find how I'm fine for those batteries. It's kind of difficult. So using a triple this triple A thing would be beneficial, even though you use a lot of batteries. It takes three triple A. I don't know exactly which one it would take. But um, this one actually probably might be the one I carry. Actually, I'm gonna probably carry this for my little survival kit. And I have one in the house for in the event the power goes out, since I live in an area where the power can go out quite often, depending on how bad a storm is. Next week, I will make sure to uh, get review the card. Um, but I'm going to leave you with this. This country does need to learn how to uh, have a different mentality when it comes to certain things. I see it as certain things as... See, well, my important thing is, if you're not hurting anyone physically or financially, why does it matter what they do? To you? No. Why does it matter? Like, 
if you, I, if you want to be transsexual, that's fine. You're not hurting me. You're not hurt. You're not hurting anyone. But the, there are certain things that are an issue. So I won't go into those since they're all over the news already. But it needs to be. We need to get over these bias and these wrong ways of thinking. I'm not. If we need to be able to think more of. You do you, I do me. As long as you, we're not hurting anyone financially or physically. There should be no reason to be fighting each other.